Okay, so I'm going to start this video off by telling you a little bit about my story. My insomnia problem started when I began middle school, around the age of 12. I remember being scared of going into a new school and having new responsibilities, and I felt like I didn't fit in. I started experiencing social anxiety and endless obsessive thinking at night. Anxiety stopped after I got used to the big changes happening in my life, but my insomnia didn't. At night, I fell into a vicious habit of thinking too much, and I quickly went from sleeping 8 hours per night on average to an average of 4 hours per night. Back when I was 13, I was the fastest mile runner in the school. I played, I played flag football. I was popular and friends with some of the coolest kids in school. By the time I was 15, that all disappeared. I tried more pills than my grandparents. I had become irritable, a mean person, and stopped hanging out with friends. I feared nighttime. I was bored to death every night. I had a perfect map in my head for every microscopic bump on the ceiling over my bed. No one understood the agony that I was going through, and I resented everyone for it. That's when I started reading sleep books and went to work on my obsessional thinking. The habit was dug in deep, and it took a major effort to change. I was sleeping less than ever, and when I finally managed to get skilled at stopping my obsessive obsessional thinking it caused me to hit rock bottom see the problem wasn't my thinking so much as the spirit i approached bedtime with even though i could calm myself to the point of silence my mind was under more pressure than ever i'd lie there for hours not thinking about anything and without any apparent reason for failure sleep still didn't come i was outraged often during high school no matter what i tried what book i read what sleep expert I talked to, and what sleep center reports revealed, my sleep only got worse. By the time I was 17, I was averaging two or three hours of sleep per night. I had failed. My life was over. The turnaround started when I stopped fighting and, stopped, stopped fighting and accepted that my life would, would be pretty bad. It's strange, but... I was afraid and tormented by just the idea that I could hit rock bottom. And once I got there, I found that wasn't so bad. It certainly took a lot less work to just accept it. Around this time, a new, more advanced brain entrainment remedy had just come out called Sleep Tracks. I gave it a try, and after a few weeks of listening to the tracks at night, not really expecting anything to happen, as I had tried hundreds of remedies that hadn't worked, I started sleeping a lot better. Some nights were great. Other nights, the tracks didn't work at all. My life started improving, but the chances of having a good day were no better than a coin flip. And if an important life event was coming up, my chances of getting good sleep were approximately zero. I started getting really curious about why my sleep was so unpredictable and why this mysterious remedy for slowing the mind worked better than the best sleep advice on the planet. That's when my breakthrough happened. It was just one simple idea that changed everything. The idea that said, hey, maybe I'm looking in the wrong places here. Maybe to conquer my sleep, I need to learn something that sleep books just aren't teaching. I'm rather fortunate. My mother is a psychologist and my father was an engineer, which I think is the reason I ended up getting really into the engineering of the mind. I studied psychology, which led to learning about ecology and neurolinguistic programming, which led to studying many ideas from the self-help industry, including Tony Robbins, ideas of personal power, and the secrets to mastering anything and becoming successful. Amazingly, dozens of the ideas from the self-help industry started plugging right into the concepts that sleep experts had taught me. I started understanding things from sleep books that I never noticed before. As, as self-help aiding my understanding of my mistakes was as self-help was aiding my understanding of my mistakes with sleep, my sleep started becoming consistent for the first time in seven years. When I was 20, I started a sleep blog with the idea of sharing my discoveries and talking to other insomniacs. Talking to others helped me understand why insomnia happens and how to change it. I gained a powerful ability to change my beliefs eliminate frustrations and other speedy mind activities, I started getting skilled at discipline and meditation, and most importantly, I found ways of enjoying the whole process that used to be a miserable struggle. 
and that's going to play in in sleep mastery. Try to try to recall that. I found ways of enjoying the whole process that used to be a miserable struggle. If you get the sleep mastery program, that's going to be discussed in there. As my sleep turned around, so did my life. Or maybe a better way of putting it, as my life turned around, so did my sleep. I found I could excel in my studies. I became social again and discovered my long lost charm. I reconnected with my family and loved ones. My days of endless thinking about various catastrophes came to an end. And two winters ago, when Los Angeles was hit by an incredibly rare major winter storm that covered the mountains behind LA down to their base with snow, I got to do my very favorite, most fulfilling activity that I thought I'd lost forever, snowboarding. There's nothing like the feeling of flying off a massive ski jump and spinning through the air, let me tell you, but it takes some major coordination that I just didn't have as an insomniac. I share this story with you because I want to illustrate a few points. You can conquer even the worst cases of insomnia and learn to be the master of your sleep. Creating sleep is more about skills and attitudes than it is about techniques or remedies. Most sleep experts are still living in the dark ages of sleep advice because they haven't studied the self-help methods required to teach someone how to cure their insomnia. The viable map to curing insomnia that you've been looking for has finally been discovered and you better get it now or you could end up in a seven year journey like me. So the map to curing insomnia. So I just want you to imagine a map of the land of your preference. Okay, are you thinking of a map? Go ahead and pause if you have to. Imagine one side of the map is where you are now. You can call this area anti-sleep. It stands for your impressive set of skills, beliefs, and behaviors and attitudes about sleep that prevent it from happening. Now imagine the other side of the map is where you need to go and it's called pro-sleep. It stands for the skills, beliefs, behaviors, and attitudes you need to build. Instead of going on an external journey in which you travel across land, your journey is an internal one in which you have to navigate the landscape of your mind. There's four things you have to know to make this journey. First, know the territory you're in, anti-sleep, so that you don't end up getting lost or going in circles. Second, know how to navigate and travel from one place to another. This is the catch and replace technique, or there's a lot of other techniques, including meditation and a lot of stuff that will show you how to travel. Third, know the territory you're traveling to, which is pro-sleep, so you can recognize the right path when you see it. Fourth, have the tools, supplies, tricks, methods, commitment, and other required necessities for the adventure. Know the territory you come from. The nine anti-sleep characteristics to look out for. One, high physical arousal levels. Two, fear of letting go, difficulty relaxing. Three, obsessive thinking. Four, fear of failure, aggravation with progress. Five, anger. Six, catastrophic thinking. Seven, perfectionist tendencies. Eight, participation in vicious cycle patterns and nine, letting anxious thoughts control you. Other qualities of anti-sleep. Discomfort, frustration with achieving comfort, insecurity, unhappiness, sadness, worry, intolerance of anything really, physical noise, emotional noise, or logical noise in particular, intensity, criticizing, explaining, justification, fixing, complaints, blame. Nav navigation and travel, the sleep mastery method, or the catch and replace, bigger picture, centering and supercharging success method. <laughs> Sounds like something I would say, anyway. One, catch the anti-sleep behavior or belief. Keep a sleep journal. Two, shut down your reaction, behavior, or thought process. Put it on hold. Realize that the enemy is never the obstacle and always your reaction to an obstacle. The more you can do this, the better you'll get recognizing the true enemy. Follow your own natural proactive ideas that occur after doing number two. That's three. Number four, push the limits of your proactive nature 
and replace the anti-sleep behavior or belief with a pro-sleep one. Five, eventually do this enough times to create a pro-sleep archetype or the fundamental groundwork for your pro-sleep model. Out of the pro-sleep techniques and skills that you enjoy the most and are able to practice to the point of obsession, like anti-sleep spirals or anything else you have experienced um, where there's a mild addiction with, find the pro-sleep ideas that you find interesting and enjoyable enough to actually obsess over. If you're obsessing over pro-sleep, that will pull you into becoming a better sleeper. And six, ultimately create addicting pro-sleep spiral by obsessing on your favorite pro-sleep actions. So know your destination, the pro-sleep characteristics. One, relaxation, physically calm. I'll also say mentally calm and emotionally calm. You have to be calm on all three levels. So if you're just calm uh, where you're not moving physically and um, emotionally you're happy, but you're thinking a lot about that stuff, where you're logically thinking, then that's not going to work. Same thing goes where if you're not thinking and you're um, physically calm, but you're emotionally like feeling not too good, obviously same with physical. It's got to be all three levels. So that was one, relaxation, physically calm. Two, indifference, the ability not to care about ideas, thoughts, emotions, etc. Three, detached thinking, kind of goes with indifference. Ability to cut internal conversations mid-sentence. Try that one out. It's almost disturbing at first when you're in a thought that you are enjoying and then you just say cut. It's kind of interesting. Four, confidence and faith. Five, joy. Six, nourishing thinking. Seven, gentle tendencies. Eight, pro-sleep cycle patterns. Nine, letting tranquil thoughts control you or guide you. Other qualities of pro-sleep. Love, comfort, especially through acceptance. Safety, happiness, creativity, flowing, not controlling, stillness, silence, numbing, and self-therapeutic others. Uh, you could fill pages with pro-sleep ideas if you really get the basic underlying fundamental of self-therapeutic. You can understand what that means. The tools, supplies, tricks, methods, commitment, and other required necessities for your adventure. Everything you'll need to permanently cure insomnia. Without being prepared for the journey, the sleep mastery method won't get you very far. The method is just a catalyst. It only makes the process go faster. To cure insomnia, you need to build skills and address the deeper levels of your understanding of sleep. These skills and understandings fit into three categories which should look familiar. One, making sleep less important by turning any problem into an opportunity. Two, making sleep less important and becoming more rational with your beliefs by determining the difference between how much sleep you need and how much sleep is ideal. And three, making sleep less important by taking your life back from insomnia. The Cure Insomnia video series ends by exposing the skills and understandings that fit into those categories. The Sleep Mastery program picks up the ball from there. Here's what you can expect to find if you make the commitment to mastery. Skills and understandings for making sleep less important by turning any problem into an opportunity. So that's these bullets are for that. Mindfulness allows you to take advantage of the opportunity hidden behind any problem and gives you massive control over anti-sleep and pro-sleep behaviors. How to use Eastern world methods, and by Eastern world I mean essentially Asia, how to use Eastern world methods to make any anti-sleep problem go away and to make focusing on pro-sleep much more powerful and easy. Mind lines, neuro-linguistic programming to easily make huge changes to pestering anti-sleep beliefs and counterproductive thoughts. In fact, once you learn these mind lines, it'll be hard for you not to see opportunities every time one of these problems arises. How digging deep into your biggest problems makes any of them fall apart. So 
Here's the next ones for making sleep less important by becoming more rational with your beliefs, determining the difference between how much sleep you need and how much is ideal. So for mastery with that, you're gonna discover deep insights into the way emotions work and how to master them to make powerful pro-sleep emotional complexes that make you look forward to going to bed instead of fearing it. If you have a hard time getting yourself to do things, this emotionally, emotional mastery session will make you actually want to practice because it's going to make things much more enjoyable. Also, you're going to discover logical levels that's going to help a lot with all that. Okay, making sleep less important by taking your life back from insomnia. So what mastery will, the mastery program will do for you in that respect and what mastering sleep will do for you in that respect. Now, um, the things I'm gonna talk about here are mostly in the deluxe version of the mastery program. So if you get basic, you're not gonna get most of these things. However, um, the first session of basic does teach you a lot of stuff about how to take your life back from insomnia and how to set yourself up to really be successful. So there's a little bit in there as well, but um, most of this comes from session four, which is only available to deluxe. So that includes um, The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. That's a book that took the success principles from and adapted it to curing insomnia to supercharge your results. And that book is just incredible. You should uh, think about buying it because it really helps you become more successful at everything you do and feel a lot better. Then there's how to become a master of your life. There's purpose or life path. Centering, emotionally centering yourself. That I think is in session one. And then there's a simple two-step formula to mastering anything. That sounds too good to be true, but when you see it, you will freak out. It is really cool. Okay, so for mastery, I want to say something that might come across as a surprise to some of you, which is that I'm incredibly lucky to have been cursed with life-destroying insomnia at such a young age. So you might be thinking, you know, how, what, how can this be? When I was a teenager, my insomnia not only robbed me of the high school experience, you know, the late nights, enjoying parties, all the fun stuff from movies that I didn't have the energy to partake in, but insomnia actually threatened my life. I really thought that my whole life was going to be one long, miserable struggle that would end with a young death. This challenge inspired me to find some life-changing information that most people will never discover. This information wasn't found in sleep books. To be honest, all the sleep experts in the world didn't really have the answers I was looking for. My breakthrough came from learning about the secrets of mastery. I discovered it about the time when, where I felt that I mainly needed to work on my depression and obsessive thinking, so I turned to the self-help industry. There was a couple books that I read that helped, but I found something huge and unexpected that changed my life forever. It really was a hidden gem. Friend of mine insisted that I watch a 10 DVD $400 program on the subject of mastery, which is by a guy by the name of David D'Angelo. He doesn't sell that course anymore, I don't think, but he's got some incredible stuff, um, although it's more tailored to um, the male gender. However, there that stuff is just incredibly valuable for anyone, especially um, any course you can find on Deep Inner Game or Inner Game. Now, I had refused the offer several times because it didn't seem to pertain to me, but when I finally watched it, I discovered that I'd been approaching everything dead wrong. This program wasn't some hocus-pocus, new-agey phenomenon. It was a carefully assem assembled guide to do anything with success. Within it contained the key ingredients in over a dozen of the bestseller self-help books ever written. 
My whole outlook on life, my goals, and my confidence changed after seeing this program. A decade later, I virtually never complain, enjoy everything, and have advanced training in mindfulness. My social life is at its prime. I'm physically fit, and I live an incredibly happy life while working 60 hours a week. It turned out that my biggest struggle wasn't with insomnia. It was with the way I dealt with it. I didn't have the tools needed to ever cure my insomnia. Mastery is a set of ideas and tools that, on the overall, is one of the most important things for you to have if you want to be successful in the long term and have a lot of satisfaction in life. A very powerful example of a tool for mastery that's a key to sleeping well is the idea of polarities. It's the idea that just about everything has two sides to it and one side controls the other. Take exhaustion and energy. When you think about your energy, do you look at it from a point of view of exhaustion, which is the scarcity side that says there's not enough energy and it needs to be used sparingly? Or do you look at it from the opposite point of view that energy is plentiful, which is the abundant side that says there's always more. It's always a little bit more. Did you know that you can choose to see it from either side, regardless of your current energy level? We've all heard the question, is the glass half full or half empty? But most of us have never given serious thought to it. It's actually a very profound question. When the glass is half empty, the control goes to the side of scarcity. The mindset is that has nothing to do with how little water there is, and the natural ideas are ones of conserving the water. When the glass is half full, the control side goes or the control goes to the side of abundance. The mindset is that there's enough water and that you can drink as much as you want. The analogy generally refers to something in your life or life itself. Is there plenty of good in your life or is there not enough good in your life? Which approach do you think would make you happier? The way your mind works is that it finds evidence to support its beliefs. So if you choose to see the glass as half full, the mind will figure out why it's half full. You can choose to see it either way and you'll find plenty of support for either side. Likewise, if you take on the mindset, there's always more energy inside me no matter how tired I get, your mind will find evidence to support that theory. It's not hard to find. After all, so long as you aren't about to faint from exhaustion, there's always a little more effort you can give. The belief causes the mind to seek supporting evidence. It's the way the mind works. And it's not tricking yourself or even difficult to ask, what if my belief was different? What would that be like? So here's the big question. Two situations. Let's say you have a big day ahead of you. If you had a big energy drink and then you thought about the scarcity side, how little you slept, the major lack of energy you have, how tired you are, and other evidence for not enough energy, how would that mindset cause you to feel? Or if you skip the energy drink but took the abundance side, the idea that more energy comes from trying harder, thought about the tasks ahead and how you do them, and continually applied yourself more without caring about the exhaustion, how would that mindset cause you to feel? You'd probably have double the energy if you skip the energy drink and worked on always pushing yourself harder to squeeze out as much energy as you could. I can tell you from lots of experience with both myself and seeing others of all ages that the energy drinks have a minor influence when compared to the mindset and how aware someone is of what feelings are caused by their thinking. It doesn't matter if you get two hours of sleep per night. If you believe that there's always a little energy left inside you, then there is. And if you don't believe that, it's still there, you just never use it. That's just one little tool that came along with the mastery program. And it's, its power is pretty apparent without much of an explanation. Although, without the mind lines and uh, ma emotional mastery and some of the other bigger concepts of the mastery program, um, I can understand if that's not um, doing a lot for you right now. Being able to apply a lot of these things requires a much more detailed analysis of some of these concepts. 
Anyway, the point is, mastery is what you're really looking for when it comes to your sleep. You want to be able to sleep when you want, for as long as you want, and you want to wake up feeling re as refreshed as possible. You want to become the master of your sleep. To do this, you'll need to know, one, all the ways to improve your sleep from the sleep books, two, the deeper insights that are being exposed by the fast approaching golden age of sleep advice, and three, you'll need a guide that shows you not just what to do, but how to master it. You'll need a few secrets of mastery. Without the golden age insights like the downward spiral of insomnia, sleep advice does not work very well. Without a guide to mastery, the golden age insights do not work very well either. Mastery isn't about trying dozens of techniques. It's about changing the deeper mindsets that prevent sleep. It's about giving you a model of how everything works so you can make up techniques of your own or at least know exactly when to use what and how to use it in a way that works. Changing your sleep is to alter an unconscious process, so it's hard to see. You'll need the map that mastery provides. The ideas of mastery give you a power over insomnia like no other. You get the shortcuts, the most effective approach possible. And the ideas of mastery are so helpful that I consider myself very lucky to have, life, to have had life-threatening insomnia so I could discover those tools of mastery and use them to build the life that I have today. Without insomnia, I probably never would have found them. The self-help industry didn't really appeal to me, and to be honest, most of the books in that industry have little to offer and are full of silly new age ideas that don't make sense or don't work. But there's some real diamonds in the rough. The sleep mastery program I'm working on is about shining a spotlight on the big diamonds that allow you to become more successful at anything and live a better life. Mainly, of course, the goal is to show you how the concepts of mastery apply to sleep. And of course, the program will cover everything from over a dozen sleep books, but it teaches them according to the golden age strategies, so you don't end up making sleep more important and undermining the whole process. So I was just having a passionate conversation with someone, and I'm actually recording this at a separate time from the rest of the stuff I record for this video. Because I was just having this conversation with someone that really didn't want to buy my product even though they knew that they needed it. And they were coming up with all the reasons why they couldn't, why it wasn't a good time, cost too much, um, just coming up with reason after reason. And so I told them, all right, you know what? I do my product through a service called ClickBank and they have an automatic refund system where if you just follow the um, the information they give you in the email, they will automatically give you a refund after you buy my product. They'll give you all your money back. And I told them, okay, what I really need you to do or what you really need to do for yourself is you need to go buy the product and immediately refund it and just go ahead and get it for free. And I actually was encouraging him just to go through the product for free because I could tell he really needed it. And so, you know, I decided this is what I should probably do for everyone. This is what I should at least offer to you guys. And, you know, most business people that I, I've been learning from, I've been learning how to turn my blog into a business, have, you know, lots of times they discourage me against this kind of stuff. Um, you know, don't give away too much free, free stuff. They won't buy your product and so forth. And you know what? I didn't get in this to try to make a lot of money or to try to like get rich or whatever. I'm doing this because I had serious chronic insomnia and I, if I had something like this available when I started out, it would have made, it would have saved me at least seven years of my life. So no matter what your concern is, um, when it comes to doing this stuff, this is really, uh, you know, I can, I can sit here and I can say, you know, hey, my, th this DVD is incredible, it's life-changing, it's, it's going to make you a much happier person, it's going to definitely improve your sleep over long term no matter what, even if you just listen to it once. Um, I can, you know, just keep talking about this stuff, but it's easy for anyone to just go ahead and pitch something. It's easy for anyone to just 
go ahead and say things. And, you know, it's not like I'm the only one saying it. Uh, you know, this is all still new, so I don't have all the audio together I want to prove what other people are saying. But my, you should see my inbox. I have dozens of emails from people telling me they had this breakthrough or this other breakthrough or they love the material that I'm teaching or that my program was life-changing and amazing. So it's not just me saying this. And, you know, that's something I really have to do is get the proof up for that kind of stuff. But anyway, my point is, whether you believe me or not, you can't miss this opportunity. This is really life-changing, sleep-changing information. It's, I have seen every course there is, and I'm absolutely convinced that I now, after two years of really, really hammering out this program, this is the best insomnia um, advice product on the internet and maybe in existence. And so I really want you to go ahead and as soon as possible, don't wait because when you don't take action right away, uh, about 70% of people who don't do something right away will end up just never doing it. I don't know what it is, you know, it's, but if you don't do it right away, there's a good chance you won't do it. So if you can right now, if you have $50, Go get the basic version of the DVD and refund it immediately. I just want you to have it. And I truly believe that once you go through those materials, you're going to like it so much that you're going to want to come back and pay for the deluxe and I'll make even more money that way. Because there's no, you know, I don't have to try to be using sneaky marketing maneuvers and all these, you know, a lot of weird things that I've come across in my training over the last year for marketing and turning this thing into a business. I don't need to do any of that stuff with you guys because this is, I think the information, the material really speaks for itself. And I truly believe that people should pay in accordance to what they receive. And I believe that once you receive the value I have to offer, you're going to wanna con you know, contribute a little bit to my cause and help support me a little bit because it's just going to be that valuable to you. So I, I, I really believe that I'm giving you over a thousand dollars in value here. And if I can give that to you for free, you know, I, most people will give me a hundred back. I've already seen this. So that's why I really encourage the other guy to get it for free. And that's why I'm encouraging you guys to get it for free right now. I'm actually encouraging you to just go buy it, refund immediately, and then see if you like it. And if you like it, you know, then maybe you can think about getting the deluxe version. Okay, so here's how to get it. If you're ready to take it to the next level and master your sleep, here's what to do. There should be a link below this video that will take you to the webpage that offers sleep mastery. If not, you can go directly to the webpage by typing in the web address you should see uh, in the video there. Remember to have the HTML at the end. Once there, you can read the letter if you want. It's got some valuable content on there that I haven't shared with you um, about the five biggest mistakes made when attempting to cure insomnia. If you don't feel like reading the whole thing, just skip to the bottom of the page. There'll be two editions for you to choose from, basic and deluxe. The only difference between the two is that deluxe has four sessions and basic only has the first three. Basic is only $50 while deluxe is 78. So that last session costs an extra $28. Last session basically sets you up with the deepest, most powerful levels of changing your life and the way you see sleep. It's based off two programs that cost me a combined total of $2,400 to take. So it's a real bargain, but it's not for everyone. Just the people who have the worst cases of insomnia and are the most interested in real deep change. The concepts are more related to mastery of anything than they are about how to alter sleep directly. Anyway, once you've chosen an addition, find the add to cart button in the big yellow box near the bottom of the page. From there, clickbank.com will handle the purchasing of the product. If you aren't completely satisfied or even if you just can't afford to lose the money, Clickbank's automated system will allow you to get a complete refund for the first 60 days. You just have to follow the instructions in the confirmation email you receive after purchasing the product.
After purchasing, you'll be taken to a web page where you can download the product or watch it online. Do note that it's digital only. The web page includes comprehensive step-by-step -step instructions and even has solutions for you if you run into any problems. Even if you don't know much about computers, this page will make it easy to access your product. That's it. If you're ready to start mastering your sleep and to start waking up feeling refreshed and rejuvenated every day, go get Mastery now by clicking on the link below this video. Wishing you refreshing sleep, James Cahoon.